Hi, my name is Benin Mugwaneza and I'm an Inyaminga brand representative. As usual, we have special guests today. Uh, let them introduce themselves. My name is Maria Mayanja. Yes. And uh, Mary Monica. Yes, and they're from uh, Anganza Limited, yes? Yeah. So let them tell, about, tell us about Anganza. What is Anganza? Angaza in itself is a Swahili word, which means to illuminate or to shed light upon. And um, what we're doing with Angaza right now is shedding light on newer concepts here in Rwanda. Uh, the concept of upcycling, which is turning something that's considered as waste into something of value. So we take advertising waste, for example, vinyl advertising banners, and we make accessories out of them. What are your titles in, in Angaza? So I'm um, the creative director of Angaza, mm -hmm. and basically I come up with the designs of the products, and um, yeah, from beginning to the end. I don't do the tailoring myself, but I just, um, I design them. Mm -hmm. And you asked about how Angaza Before, started. Yeah. So <coughs> I was a student at KIST, College of Science and Technology currently, and uh, I did water and environmental engineering, and I've always been passionate about all things environment. So I was sitting, asking myself around 2012 World Environment Day, what can I do um, to show maybe children what to do um, for World Environment Day and just teach them about climate change and all that. So. Um, me and some of my friends from the university went to Kigali Parents School and we collected like so many bottle tops and we were there with the kids and they made mosaics out of the bottle tops and it was just a learning experience for them of how to transform waste into something of value. And that's ideally how Angaza came about and just I started thinking about other things we can do with waste. And when I learned about how advertising banners can be made into something of use, then that's how we started. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so what, do you, what are your product actually? So we make a variety of products, uh, about nine different products, from wallets, uh, ladies' purses, clutch purses for the ladies again, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, accessory accessory covers or gadget covers for iPads, laptops, and we also make for guys, actually. We make fold wallets for guys and cool sling bag for guys sling bags for guys especially guys who are in university or even the working class guys who have stuff to carry so <laughs> so um, i was wondering where actually where do you get those materials we get this material these um vinyl banner flex you're looking at from uh, print companies that do a lot of printing so right now our main supply is uh Bradirgo. and uh, for now those are the companies we usually deal with the ones that do a lot of printing we're still trying to get from uh, printing from telecom companies. It's still a process, it's going on, but we believe that they'll give us their banner flex and also other corporate companies. Mm -hmm. They give us their uh, banners after they've used them. Yeah. So that's how, so when we go to them, we tell them we are going to, we're going to add value, we're, we are going to add value to your banner flex. So they give them to us as donations, but they're also helping SMEs. They're like promoting SMEs and young entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So that is the context they give us this banner flex. And also sometimes make them promotional items like iPads or, or laptop bags. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, tell us uh, different events that you've been uh, maybe participating in, uh, exposing your products. Well, we sometimes we go for exhibitions like mm -hmm. Gali Up, the Christmas bazaars that happen annually, the summer exhibition that happens at the American Embassy, and uh, sometimes we have pop-up sales at ABC, it's a restaurant at uh, Kichichiro. Sometimes we have pop-up sales at uh, Mise Fresh. Yeah, and then we also at the Emerging Designers Fashion Show that took place at uh, Legacy Hotel. Um, what? Grand Legacy Hotel at Remera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the ones I can remember. I don't know if Maria remembers others. I think we also took part in the Glocal Convention, um, the one that took place at uh, Serena, mm. and we were able to exhibit some of our items. We were there as young entrepreneurs, young innovative entrepreneurs. Yeah. 
I remember having seen you also in the Rwanda Cultural Fashion Show. Oh, yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. That took place at um, the stadium. The stadium. Yes. Mm. I could also add on that. Mm. Apart from that, um, we've also had opportunities to show our products in uh, other countries, uh, for example, in the U.S., in New York, and um, oh. uh, Oklahoma. Were you in Oklahoma? Or yes. Ca yes. North? Yeah. No. Texas, yes, Texas, and um, also in Amsterdam and Berlin. So we're also getting our things uh, out there. Also North Carolina. Mm. Yeah, we're through the pistol business mm. venture that's taking place. Yep. How did you get there? I mean, being popular and going in different events, international events also, I, it's not easy. <laughs> I, I can't say we are popular, but we just kind of like, follow what's going on you keep yourself updated mm -hmm. yeah and you you're in the you also have to be in the right networks to get to know about these events that are coming up and you try and participate in all of them yeah because you are in the marketing office you must know the definitely <laughs> i i i make use of the networks that i i get in contact with and mm -hmm. we also you know we have internet so you try and google and see what's happening in the country and you try and you get to meet you try and get in touch with the people that are organizing these events and mm -hmm. That's what we do. You are, I see you are still young. <laughs> yes. How do you feel about being young entrepreneurs? It's, it's a great experience. And we thank the government for encouraging young, young entrepreneurs and putting up events. And, op and basically, it's, it's a great experience. It's really exciting. It's good to make use of your youth because you're going to be accountable for it at the easy. end. It's not easy. But this is the right time, yeah. actually, mm. to be a young entrepreneur, if that's where you're heading to, mm. and to do something that you love. There's nothing easy in this world. This world is not easy, but you have to do something about it. Mm. Yeah. It's not always uh, easy to start something by yourself. Uh, tell us what gave you the strength to, to begin to start. Well, I can think of when I was still young, Mm. and I'd always have something I'm doing and I always had dreams of having something of my own and yeah, I thought of working for somebody but I always thought the ultimate dream and ambition would be to have something that is yours mm. and not um, yeah, having to depend on somebody else so that's that's always been in my mind and whenever I do something I always think of hey, how can I be able to make this um, an entrepreneurial venture or anything of the sort, yeah. So you have been traveling around the world, around the country, you are becoming popular, you mm -hmm. have where you are today. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to, to be in the future, like in the five years coming? Personally or Angaza? Angaza. So <laughs> <laughs> Angaza right now is mainly local, as much as we've had the opportunities to expose what we do mm -hmm. um, in other places apart from Rwanda. But our dream and five years from now is that Angaza is not only a Rwandan brand. Yes. It is a Rwandan brand, but we'll have scaled and, and gone to impact lives across the continent and beyond the continent to other places. And people would know that, hey, something good is happening in Rwanda through Angaza. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have some other new projects for the future? Definitely. Apart from doing this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Angaza is not only an accessory type of brand, but we want to come up with environmental solutions and creative ways at that to search environmental solutions. So like I started, as I told you, going to the school and teaching kids about climate change and, and all that. And we know that's a big, big uh, goal of the government. Um, uh, with the green economy and so we think teaching kids about the environment they'll grow up knowing that this is important and if I do ABCD this is a consequence to it and they'll grow up loving it so it's hard for me to change you for example and tell you that hey growing trees is important but you you wouldn't see the importance of it right now but yeah. a kid who has grown up with all these values in them it will be so easy and I can I can just I can't imagine the Rwanda in the next 20 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. uh, so where do you sell your products? Uh, for now, we have presence in different outlets. We don't have our own shop, but we have uh, Rwandan Caesar. I don't know if you have heard about it. Just um, 
somewhere in town uh let me go on the memorial site and then we have our office in uh Kachiru, like just next to Carfenio. sometimes you can find our products there mm. so yep okay this is any nyaminga show <laughs> we would like we want you to give like an advice for the youth but especially for girls who want to grow up in the creative and uh, fashion industry well basically just follow your dream if you these things of your parents saying that you have to be a doctor you have to be an engineer if that's your dream good go for it but if you feel like you're a creative person mm -hmm. It's not for people that haven't studied. Even people who have studied going to creatives, they are actors, the fashion designers. If you feel that's what you love, go for it. Have the right friends and um, invest in the right things. Mm. So it will, of course, when you're starting, it might be hard. But if you have the passion, you're hardworking, you'll definitely make it. Yeah. Um, there's a quote I like from somebody who I don't remember, mm. but <laughs> it <laughs> says that if your dreams are not big enough to scare you, then they're not big enough. So what I'd just like to tell the girls out there is to dream big. As uh, Deborah said, it doesn't matter what you want to do. As long as you feel like this is, this is, uh, this is your purpose, work hard at it. Nothing comes simple. So it, it's not all about just having the idea and harboring it in your head. A lot of hard work has to go into it and using the resources that you have available. We can, I don't think, I want to challenge the girls in Rwanda and tell them that you can no longer say that, hey, I don't have access to this. I don't have access to that. If anything, you're so blessed to be in Rwanda because all these resources are just at, at your feet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a matter of you, um, uh, I want to say it in Kinyanda because that's <laughs> that's what it gutinyuk gumba gutinyuka and just go for it and see if it works well and good if it doesn't work at least you tried it's better to try and fail than fail to try mm -hmm. yeah well you heard it <laughs> thank you very much Maria and Monica.